What's going on YouTube? My name is Jeans, back with some ranked single battles for Pokemon Sword. Before this video even starts, if you find yourself enjoying the content, make sure you show it by smashing that like button, clicking that subscribe button, and let me know in the comment section down below. Seriously, the support on these videos has been amazing, and if you guys keep showing it, I'll keep pumping out the content for you guys. So guys, in today's video, we're rocking out with this Gudra single team right here, actually made by a good buddy of mine, Nick Morrell. Me and him have been working together. He's been helping me play more competitively and helping me team build and all this, but this team has been made by him. I'm going to be leaving links to all of his socials in the description below, so definitely go check that out. He's a great team builder and a very good competitive Pokemon player. So guys, this team is rocking out with this Choice Specs Gudra, the Wave Incense Seismitoad, the Salt Vest Arcanine, the Focus Ash Haxorus, the Life Orb Clefable, which is awesome. I like that Clefable. And this Rocky Helmet Corviknight right here. I'm going to be showing off the moves in just a second, but I kind of want to go over the team a little bit. So the Seismitoad, Arcanine, and the Gujra's abilities all are like hit abilities. So the Gujra can't get hit by gr grass moves, and it will boost his special attack. The Flash Fire, Arcanine is rocking Flash Fire, so whenever Fire Moves comes out with him, he's going to soak it up and boost his next Fire Moves. Same thing with that Seismitoad. He's just going to soak up those Water Moves, and use it for health. So this team is a very readable team. You have to read with this team hard in order for it to work as it is. But once you learn how to read with it, it is domination. Let me show off the moves right here with these guys. There's all the items you guys can see next to them. But the moves rocking out with this Gudra is Fire Blast, Sludge Bomb, Thunder, and Draco Meteor. Then we got Liquidation, Power Whip, Toxic, and Earth Power on this size episode. He's a beast. He's a beast. I cannot wait to show him off. Seriously, cannot wait to show him off. Then we got Extreme Speed for first move priorities. On this Arcanine, we have Play Rough, Fairy Move. Flare Blitz, and Wild Charge. He is like the heart of this team right here. This Arcanine is an absolute beast. I can't wait to show him off. Then we got Iron Tail, Earthquake, Dragon Dance to set up, and Dragon Call with this Haxorus. Reason we have Haxorus on here is because Mimikyu counters this team hard, so we were kind of fooling around with everything, and Haxorus actually fit in well to actually counter that Mimikyu when people are playing them so they don't just swamp on us. Then we got this Life Orb Clefable, and he's actually, look at his ability. His ability is, where's his ability at? Right here, Magic Guard. So the Pokemon can only take damage from attacks, which means no burns, no Life Orb damage, only from attacks. So that's why we're rocking Life Orb from it. It will take no damage from it. But it's rocking Baton Pass, Moonlight, Cosmic Power, and Moon Blast. Then in the final spot, we have this Rocky Helmet Corp Knight, whose defense is through the roof. It can circle pits and deal damage with the Rocky Helmet. It's rocking Bulk Up so we can boost their defense once again and their attack. Roost Up, Body Press. If our defense is high enough, we can slam down and Brave Bird. But guys, if you'd like to use this team, there is no rental code for it, but you can build it yourself. This team is awesome. We're going to be leaving all the stats in the description below, everything, all the EVs and all that good stuff, the items, everything. But also, guys, let me know for question of the day. What Pokemon do you want to see me and my boy Nick build next? We'll build a team around a Pokemon that you guys like. So just let me know in the comment section down below. But without further ado, let's get on with these single battles. Battle number one coming at you guys. This guy is rocking a Pelipper Dragapult. Hit him on top, Grim Snarl, the Vickable, and the Pulte guys right here, and the Pulte guys. So, with all that said, I definitely want to lead my Arcanine and bring my Seismitoad in the back. Because, like I said in the beginning, we kind of want to bait moves and read them hard. Like, so if I lead with that Arcanine, I can see him leading that Pelipper. We can get a free swap out with our what's it called? With our uh, Seismitoad and just eat it up. It's a free swap out and all that. Same thing, like, if he was rocking a grass move. Is he? Do we think he's rocking a grass move? No. So we're going to be Arcanine here, Seismitoad, and then who's going to go in the back end? Who's going to go in the back end? I can maybe see us bring Corviknight or Fable. Or the Fable. The Clefable. Hmm. What's the plan? What's the plan here? Or we can bring the Haxorus. I think the Haxorus can do some work. Let's bring the Fable. Let's bring the Fable, show that off, because that thing is an absolute beast. Yo, you're not leading the spot. Arcanine's going to lead the spot. Seismitoad is going to go in the back, and then the Clefable is going to bring up the rear but i usually will bring the gudra when there's grass moves so we get free hard swap because this thing is an absolute glass cannon gudra is a glass cannon it can dominate but it cannot take a hit for nothing but that is what me and nick kind of want to do me and nick want to build teams that are like different they are that are different off meta and all that but still work good in ranked battles so hope you guys do enjoy the content and all the new pokemon that we're going to be bringing to this game and these videos but guys if you'd like to catch more content from me make sure you go in the link in the description below jeans 25 on twitch if i'm live come hang out chat it up if not hit that follow button swing by later but he leads that drag pull which is actually fine by us which is actually fine by us i might just go into a dynamax max starfall i think that is exactly what we're gonna do right off the bat dynamax max starfall and take this thing out we're gonna dumpster it we're gonna dumpster it if it stays in if it stays in if not that's fine by me if not, that's fine by me. Here goes our Dynamax. He is staying in. Hopefully, he's not Dynamaxing. Or going for a Phantom Force. Hopefully, he goes for something, like, totally out of the way. I don't even know what he's going to go for. 
Let's see what he does. Maybe he's going for a U-turn. Maybe he's doing something else. But he will outspeed us. That is exactly what he's going to do. He is going to outspeed us. Let's see what goes on. Let's see what happens here. He's going to go for Dragon Dark. We eat that up. No problem. We can say bye-bye to that Dragon Pole. Nice little start for us here. Nice little start for us. Off the bat. Here goes the Max Starfall. Bill. Yeah, yeet. Boop. See you later, Dragon Pult. See you later. So that is why it's so nice to lead that Arcanine. He's just so versatile in everything. And then we have that Seismitoad. They have something to counter us. If they have like a water Pokemon to counter us, we just swap into that Seismitoad. He soaks it up. Free change. And he has Power Whip on him to rock out. Like, dude. Like, come on, dude. This team. This team is awesome. Hopefully, I can show you some reason all that. But him on top comes out here. Him on top is going to pop out here. Intimidate's going to come off here. And we're... Did we just set a drought? We just set a drought. We are Soul Vested. Oof. Where do we go for another Max Starfall? We're going to go for another Max Starfall. We should outspeed, right? Arcanine's a pretty speedy Pokemon. Is he going to Dynamax? I can see him potentially Dynamax and maybe going for a Sucker Punch. I don't know. Let's see. Let's see what happens. He's not going to Dynamax. <laughs> Give us another Max... Free Max Starfall. Built! Nice damage. Let's go. And then we're going to uh, we're gonna set the Drought up after this. Let's see. Bulk Up's going to come out here. And that thing's dead. That thing's dead. Like, what... Do we even set the drought or do we make sure he dies? He's gonna go to the white herb, right? No, no, what is that? What is that? He was, oh, he's rocking left. I was gonna say white herb's only for when he loses stuff. But another Max Starfall is gonna pop out here. We're not even gonna set the drought. We're gonna make sure his hit on top dies. Is he gonna Dynamax it? What is gonna happen here? He is gonna Dynamax it. Okay. Okay. I'm fine by it. I'm fine by it because if we eat a shot up by this thing, we can always go into an extreme speed and have first move priorities. So we are chilling. We are chilling. Plus, we have that Fable in the back. We can soak up some hits. Thing's an absolute unit. Let's see what. Let's see how this thing plays out. Let's see how this thing goes. Max Starfall comes out here. Are we gonna take him out with it? I can see it happening. Let's go. Come on, show it to me. Show it to me. Let's go, dude. Waste his dynamite. That's game. That's game. Arcanine, quick sweep. Like I said, he is like the heart of this team right here. He's so good. He's so strong in this game. It's ridiculous. It's ridiculous how good he is in this team. My boy Nick built him perfectly for this team. Perfectly. Let's roll. Let's roll here. Who's he going to go out with? A Vicka Bolt. A Vicka Bolt. Are we just going to have a nice clean sweep off the bat? Are we just going to have a clean sweep off the bat? I can see it happening. We might be able to out outspeed the heat. I can see him canceling. We're just going to go into a nice little Flare Blitz. This thing could outspeed us, depending on how fast this thing is, because Vicka Bolt is rather fast Pokemon. Let's see what he goes into. And the battle was canceled, dude. What a way to start off this video. Let's hop into another battle and try to show it off even more. Ooh, we coming off that clean sweep with that Arcanine. We're hopping into battle number two. This guy's rocking Helio Whisk, Dragapult, Sylveon, Quagsire, Barathorn, and that. Oh my god, and that Corsola. Corsolas are so annoying. They're just so annoying. But with this all said, I think we're gonna lead our Arcanine here. I think we're gonna lead our Arcanine, bring Toad in the back, and possibly Gudra too. I think this could work out very, very strong. Hmm. I think he's definitely bringing that Sylveon too, but I think we'll be fine up against that Sylveon. I think we're chilling. We're going to go into our Arcanine, lead in the front spot, size it in the back, and trying to show off Gudra here. And trying to show off Gudra. I think this is the play call. I hope he doesn't bring that Corsola. Corsolas annoy me. They annoy me a lot, actually. Then we're going to have to go into our Gudra. Can probably counter that thing a little bit, but definitely not our Arcanine. So hopefully he doesn't bring that. I hopefully, I'm hoping he brings that Quagsire and that Ferrothorn so we can like do some swap outs with our Gudra. Show you guys how this team works. Show you guys how this team works. It would be awesome. It would be awesome. Let's go. Show me the Fair Throne and Quagsire. That would be awesome, man. I would love to just make some hard reads here and just have them play out. Okay, let's get it, guys. Let's get it. Banana dude dude. But that is what me and Nick actually want to do. We want to make teams that are different from everything. And that's like that is what we want to do. And I hope you guys do enjoy that and want to see that. But who's he gonna lead? The Sylveon's gonna get the lead. Sylveon's gonna get the lead. Hmm. How are we going to play this out here? He's probably just going to go for a Hyper Voice or something. Say Fairy Move. We can just go for a Play Rough. Or we can just... Um, what are we going to go for? I want to save some extra stream speeds. I think we're just going to go for a Play Rough here. And play it slow. And play it slow. Because we are Salt Vested. We should be able to soak up some hits. Let's see what he actually goes into. Let's see what this thing actually goes into. I can see Sylveon potentially Dynamaxing. But we're just going into a nice little Play Rough here. Trying to do a little bit of damage. I don't, I don't think this thing's going to Dynamax. Let's see. We're going to go into play rough. We know we outspeed now, which is not bad. Do a little bit of damage to him. What's this thing going to go for? A Psy Shock. Ooh. I wasn't expecting that thing to rock a Psy Shock. I don't think any of us were. But that's fine. We'll eat that up. We're so best at it. And we're just going to go for another play rough here. 
We're just gonna go for another play rough. I, I was thinking of Dynamax him, but we're not. We're just gonna go for... Bruh, a bruh! Bruh, what do you mean they avoid the attack? Like, that's so unlucky here. But we're a Soul Festival eat up. Man, dude, that's some bogus. That's some bogus. Play rough's gonna come out. We just gotta land two of them here, I think. I think two more will take it out. Let's see what happens. He's gonna withdraw. That's fine by me. That's fine by me. He's gonna withdraw. He's gonna go into who? Who's he gonna go into? So many Quagsire. The Ferrothorn comes out here. The Ferrothorn comes out here. We should just be able to outspeed and just Merc on this thing. Go into a Flare Blitz, right? He's Iron Barbs, but... He could go into a Leech Seed or a Protect. Let's see what he goes into. Do we Dyna and just go after this thing? I say we just... We just Flare Blitz and save our Dyna? Hmm. What is the call? What is the call? Is he trying to get us to go into a Flare Blitz here? Maybe swap out? I don't want to Dyna. I really don't want to Dyna. We're just going to go for straight Flare Blitz here. Try to do some work on this thing. Let's see. He is. I knew he was going to withdraw again. Now who's he going to go into? The Quagsire, maybe. No, back to the Sylveon. We'll do some damage with this fire move. Then we'll go for like an extreme speed or something. Try to take this thing out. Let's see how much damage we can do with this thing. Take some out. That's fine by me. See you later, Sylveon. See you later. Later, Sylveon. That actually works out better for us to get that Sylveon out the way. Because our, our, what's it called? Our Gudra's Choice spec with the Fire Blast. I can take out that Ferrothorn. No problem. They can take him out. No problem. Who's his last Pokemon? A Heliolisk. Okay. Okay. The Heliolisk is chilling in here. But I'm going to try to get a nice little read on him with my, uh, what's it called? Oh, do we outspeed? I don't think we outspeed this thing. So we're just going to go into an extreme speed here. Because I think this Heliolisk will outspeed us. I think it's fast. I think it's a fast boy. So extreme speed is going to pop out. We're going to do a little bit of damage to him here. And then Air Balloon pops. And he's going to go into a Surf. Which is fine by me. I wasn't expecting Rock Surf. I would have went into my Seismitoad. But that is exactly what we're going to do now. We're going to go into our Seismitoad here. And then potentially make a read for a swap. Because my size, size Patoed will beast on this thing. Will beast on this thing. Unless this thing's rocking a grass move. But I don't think it is. I don't think it's rocking a grass move. I think we're chilling here. We got my size Patoed. And if he wants to go to a, into a Ferrothorn for like a Power Whip, we can swap out into our Gudra and Sap Sip that up. So, do we just go for an Earth Power here? We could just go for an Earth Power here, right? Yeah, let's just go for an Earth Power. He's, he's going he's gonna to outspeed me. And he's going to withdraw here, which is fine. Which is fine. Now we're going to swap. Now we are going to take the swap here. Does he think we're going for the swap? Well, if he goes for a Leech Seed or something, Earth Power is going to do a decent amount of damage to this thing anyway. Or no, I thought it was super effective for some reason. But watch. This is what this team's about. Making reads and making plays. So we're going to swap here, predicting him either going for that Leech Seed or a Power Whip. And we're going to Sap Sip it up with our Gudra and then just take that thing out in one hit. And then if he swaps out to something else, then we're going to take that out in one hit. So watch. Just watch this. Here we go. Show me the read. Show me the read, because this is what this team's about, swapping out in certain situations like this and getting... But look at this shiny Gudra. What is he going to go into? What's he going to go into? A curse. Wow. Wow. He does not go for the... What's it called? He does not go for the grass move. He does not go for the grass move. Wow. His attack and his defense is going to raise. We're still going to stay in here with him and just roll out into a fire blast. We're just going to roll out into a fire blast. I thought he was going to go for the grass move, but that is what the thought process for this team is like. It's like that. It's like swap out, make a read here, but I'm surprised he didn't go into a grass move. But we are rocking Fire, Bla Fire Blast with Choice Scarf that, or Choice Specs. That will take him out. Gooch are getting some love in here. Gooch are getting some love. But that was the plan. If you would have went for a grass move, that would have boosted our special attack. But we're chilling here. We're sitting pretty here. We're sitting pretty. Does he still have his Dynamax? I think he does, but we're fine. We're chilling. He actually might be able to just take out my Gooch. He's glass cannon. But what are we going to roll into? A Sledge Bomb? A Sledge Bomb? Yeah, we're going to just try to keep the accuracy up and go into the... Oh, no, we're choice specced in a Fire Blast. My fault. But still, if we just land this, it's night-night. He's going to outspeed us here. He's going to go for a Focus Blast. He missed! That is the game. Let's get it. This team we're rocking out with. But you guys are starting to get the concept. Like, we have to make reads and stuff in order to boost this team and make it better. But we made the right play call there. He cursed. He was done anyway with the Fire Blast. But if we would have used the Grass move, we would have boosted our Special Attack and marked the rest. Third and final battle coming at you guys. This guy's rocking a Bullaby, Mimikyu, Dragapult, Hippowdon, Cincino, and a Rotom Wash. And a Rotom Wash. I want to bring them, my top two dogs in here. I want to bring Arcanine and Seismitoad. I want to bring Arcanine and Seismitoad up here. And then do I want to bring Hexorus in the back end? We could bring Hexorus. I said we do roll out with the Hexorus here. I was going to bring Clefable, show her off a little bit. But let me, let me take one last look at this Pokemon. So we could go in with that Fable. Could roll out with that Fable. Fable does work on the Dragon Pokemon. We roll out with Fable. 
What's the call? Fable or Haxorus Maximus? Let's show off Fable here. Let's show off the Cliff Fable here in the last spot. Let's get it, guys. Hopefully, he leads that, what's it called? That Rotom. We can make a read with the Seismitoad. Swap out. Get some Toxic off. But hopefully, this guy's not playing tricks. Hopefully, he's not rolling out with tricks. Because trick, he would just swap items. Kind of screw us over if we're going for the Toxic. So, But let's see what he's doing. Let's see what he's going to start off with. Probably the Rotom, if I'm thinking. That's why I'm, I'm leading that Arcanine. Trying to bait that water move right off the bat. I'm trying to bait that water move. Let's see how this works out. Who are you going to go? Who are you going with? Boom. Cincino pops out here. That's fine by me. That is fine by me. Cincino's going to pop out here. We are chilling. We're chilling with that Cincino in here. I think, what typing is that thing? Is this just normal? I think I'm just going to roll out into a play rough. Yeah, we're going to roll into a play rough here. Let's just see what it's going to do. I think like I feel like it has, yeah, it has something up its sleeve. I knew it. I knew it. It's probably skill linked or something. Just gonna hit us with some rock blasts here. Go all five. We should be able to eat up one of these. And then we go into an extreme speed and potentially kill it. Let's see. Now oh, that one critted though. That one critted and he gets this last one off. And we do eat up into 15 health. So we're chilling here. We're hit five times. Let's go into the play rough here. How much damage do we do? Decent amount of damage. And we can extreme speed it out. Oh yeah, you get a crit, we get a crit. That's how we're playing. We're gonna extreme speed out here. You know that we're rocking extreme speed? What do you think we're doing? Huh? You gonna swap out? Go ahead, swap out for me. I would love to see. I would love to see. I would go into my toad all day. Would love to go into my toad. Show me you're switching out into that road time. We're just staying to take this extreme speed. It's fine by me, dude. That's fine by me. Let's see. Extreme speed pops out. Bye bye, Cincino. Done. Out of here. Jeez, dude. Those. What is it? Skill link? S skill swap? Something like that to make him hit five times. That's so annoying. It's so good, though. It is so good. Who are you going to rock out into? Road time comes out here. Watch this. Watch this read. Watch the play of the year right here. We're going to go into the Seismitoad here. We're going to go into the Seismitoad. Read him going. He has to go for a, usually an electric move or a water move. And then we go into a Toxic. Because he's either going to swap out or he's going to take this Toxic on him. Which is fine by me. Bolt Switch comes out here. Nah, son. Nah. Not going to affect us. We're going to go into a Toxic. Hopefully he hard swaps out. Is he going to hard swap out? I'm going to see my Arcanine because he has that first move priority with that extreme speed. Let's see what he's going to do here. What are you going to do, fool? What are you going to do, buddy? Huh? What are you going to do? You going to go for a water move on me? I would love for him to stay in. Or is he rocking that Dragapult? I would like him to use that Dragapult, actually. Maybe I should have made the big, big read and swapped the Clefable right now and hoping he's swapping into a dragon pole <laughs> that would have been a crazy read that would would have been like the craziest read i ever made but we're gonna try to make this read right here that he's swapping out or something he's dynamaxing i don't think he knows where water absorb i don't think he knows where water absorb does water absorb still eat up the max geysers and stuff does it i would think it does right let's see let's see what happens here what are you going for? Come on. What are you going for, buddy? Max Darkness. Okay, this guy's rocking a dark. We probably Sucker Punch or something. Okay, we'll get this Toxic off. And we'll start eating up. We will start eating up here. We will eat up. We'll be able to eat up all three and let this Toxic start ticking. Our Special Defense is going to drop here. We're going to get this Toxic off. Wow. Wow. Look at this guy. I was not expecting him to rock Max Darkness. Okay, so the Cicino's dead. This thing's poison. And we have the Fable in the back end. We're going to go into a Power Whip. We're going to go straight into a power whip. Because if we do eat up this turn, we will get a nice solid power whip off and be able to do some damage. Okay, we're fine. We're fine. Max Darkness coming out here again. That might actually take us out because our special defense did drop. Let's see. Eat it, eat it, buddy. Eat it, eat it, eat it. No! Okay, special defense did drop here. How are we going to roll out here? I said we roll into our Arcanine here. I said we just chill and go into our Arcanine. Get an extreme speed off. Save him. And just save the Clefable. Because it all depends on what that last Pokemon is. We're going to waste all these Dynamax turns. And then we'll be able to go into a Dynamax with our Club Fable. So we'll just go for a nice little extreme speed. Guarantee us that first hit. And do a little bit of more damage before we go out here. But all of his turns are gone. All of his turns are gone. I can see him maybe setting that rain. I can see him maybe setting that rain. We'll see what he's going to do. Max Geyser, yeah, he's going to set the rain here. He's going to set the rain. And we'll be able to go into a Dynamax and go with a nice little Max Starfall here. So we can't get, like, paralyzed and all that. Okay, okay, we're still sitting fine. I made a nice read with that, uh, with the Seismitoad going out. But I'm surprised he Dynamax. It leads me to think he doesn't want to, like, the last Pokemon is something that he doesn't want to get tanked up on. I'm thinking it's the Dragon Ball. That would be beautiful. But we can go into a Max Starfall here. 
We have max guards and stuff in case we really have to do it. But we're just going to start going off on this. He's going to use some water moves on us. We are a special defense tank right here. We are a special defense tank right here. Do we cosmic power before we go up? Or no? Now let's go straight into a max star falls. Set this train. Let this poison start ticking around. Just let it start ticking out. Just let it start ticking out here. I'm going to go here. Start that max star fall. Get the misty train rolling. And if we have to, we can go into max guards and let that poison do its work. We can let that poison do its beautiful work here. Let's go. Look at Clefable, yo. I love shiny Clefable. It's little ear tips. See how they're black? They turn green and it looks awesome. It just looks awesome. Let's go, Clefable. Let's get it. Showing you off in this last battle. Can we get this win? T-Bolt's gonna come out here. We eat that up. No problem. We're special defense tank here. We're special defense tank. What is this guy's last Pokemon is my question. This should do some work on him. Can Poison take out from here? Can Poison tick him down here? If not, we might just go into a max guard so we don't take any hits. That might be the play. Let's see what he does. Let's see what he does. Come on, take him out. Take him out. Take him out. Yes, sir. Let's get it. Let's go, guys. Let's go. Show me the Dragapult. Right? This guy was rocking Dragapult from the beginning. Show me the Dragapult. That is why we brought in here. Is he maybe rocking that Mims? Is he rocking the Mimikyu? Don't show me the Mimikyu. Who is it? It's a Dragapult. Let's go. That is game, set, and match, baby. Game, set, and match. Reason why I brought in the Cliff Fable. I really saw him going with that Dragapult and not bringing that Mims in. Let's get it, dude. That is the game. T-Bolt's going to come out here. GG. Let's get it, guys. Made a couple reads that game, but got the win overall, dude. Most, The best part about this team, like, in order to win is actually to like set up beforehand like you have to be good at looking at the teams and setting it up but that is how it's done that's how you set up beforehand get that fable win we knew he was going with that dragon pool and get that win let's get it guys that is how it's done we rocked out with one of my new favorite singles team right here built by my boy nick morale all of his socials will be in the description below you guys should definitely go check it out he's a great team builder and even a better competitive player but guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, subscribe to the channel. Also, guys, let me know for question of the day, what Pokemon you would like to see a team build around. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you all in the next one. Peace out, everyone.